Hey, what's up? It's Coach Nate here from Chicago Ninja Academy coming at you off the cuff, unedited, and in your face. So today I'm going to talk about the squat. All right, the squat is probably the king of all exercises. I'm sure we've heard about it before. All right, but today I'm going to talk about it in the context of young athletes and ninja obstacles. All right, so over the last few weeks in our kids' programs, we've been working on this quite diligently. We've, spent, we've been spending a little bit of time on it in our warm-ups, as well as towards the end for some finishers, some final challenges, and things like that. So first off, why? Why do we focus on the squat? Well, a good squat is a predictor of athletic ability, okay? If you can do a good squat, if you can develop the awareness, the body control, the positioning, that's gonna make it way easier to learn more difficult and progressively harder movements, okay? Also, the positioning and cues that we use to teach and perfect the squat are also similar cues that we'll use on the obstacle course while teaching and having our students run through obstacles, okay? Also, the physical benefits of it are, the list is long, all right? But in short, some of the things the reasons why we do it is because for one, the squat is not just a leg exercise. When done properly and correctly, it truly is basically a full body exercise, all right? You know, you might not be using your biceps to do it, but you are using your legs, you're using your, your glutes and hips, you're using your back muscles as well as your abdominal muscles and to a lesser extent, some of your other upper body muscles like your chest, shoulders, and things like that, okay? So that's, that's a big reason why. Also, squatting, all right, learning how to do the squat correctly will also help to strengthen your joints and help to um, defend your body against injury, all right? Building strength around the muscles or strength around the joints is like building or is like building a protective suit of armor around the delicate tissues that tend to get injured um, in young athletes when they don't have that joint stability, all right? And this is, becomes even more important as children enter that next stage of growth in pre-adolescence when their bodies get so big and their joints become a little wobbly. We all know that stage where, where kids kind of start to resemble like a newborn baby giraffe versus, you know, the kid who, who, who was a little shorter, a little, little, little more compacted with long, shorter limbs, okay? So let me just run through a quick little demo for you. All right, this is something you can practice anywhere. You don't need equipment. You don't need anything other than a place to stand. All right, and sometimes too, a wall can help you learn it better. All right, so what are we looking for in a good squat? Well, first things first, we're looking for good posture. All right, so we start from the top. We wanna to make sure we have our chest up. All right, natural arch in our back, keeping good upright posture, okay? What we tell our students is we tell our students to be a gorilla and not a camel, okay? Think of a silverback gorilla like this, all right, versus a turtle or a camel with a, with a smooshy round back like that, okay? So posture, that's number one. Number two is we wanna have our, our heels on the ground, okay? Heels on the ground, we don't wanna be rolling up on our toes, okay? We've all heard that squats can be bad for your knees, and that can be true but it's, it should be t tightened up or specified that bad squats are bad for your knees. All right, so what we wanna be doing, keep that chest up, heels on the ground, all right, feet about as wide as our shoulders or maybe a little bit wider, just depends on your individual build and how long your legs are, etc. okay? Now, when we go down, the first movement we wanna do is we wanna push our hips back. We wanna reach back with our butt. Okay, we wanna really avoid going straight down or bending down at the knees first, okay? This is horrible right here, okay? Especially if you're over 25, all right? That can feel like ice picks going right in your kneecaps, all right? We wanna be sitting those hips back and slowly descending, kind of pulling ourselves down into that squat and we're getting to a nice low position. We wanna go just a hair below parallel. We don't wanna bottom out, all right? We don't wanna to go too high, okay? And the reason why we don't want to go stop short right here is because we do that over and over again. We put an uneven pressure on the knees, which can over time accumulate and result in some pain and discomfort. And if you keep hammering that, it can cause injury, all right? But when we descend all the way down, 
we get a balance of forces on our knees by strengthening the quads and the hamstrings both at the same time, okay? The last and final point is when we are going down in that squat, we wanna have our knees staying in a line with our toes, all right? We don't wanna be going like spilling over here. We especially don't wanna be knocking knees in like this. We wanna keep those knees out and tracking over our toes, going down nice and slow just like that, coming back up, all right? A couple little tips that can help you help us keep that good posture is reaching our hands up nice and high like this, and that can help us to keep our balance and reinforce that good posture. When our arms start getting loosey-goosey, that's when we start getting into some nasty stuff like that. Um, and we just gotta take some time, do some drills to, to improve that. So, I hope you found this helpful. If you wanna learn how to squat, hit us up. All right, we'll see you next time.